Hi guys, and I am back with Resident Evil 4. This is a game I'm not really looking forward to. It's a long game. Uh, so I decided to put in two hours tonight to get a head start. Um, I'm not really a big fan of it. It's, uh, it's far removed to the right versus the survival horror that I really liked with the original games. But it is a good storyline game. Don't get me wrong. It's not bad because it's not survival horror. It's just I prefer the survival horror over the, the action sequences. There's a lot of quick time events in this game. Uh, so I'm going to die a lot. Especially since I don't have a controller to use this right now. My other one decided to go the way of the dodo and die. So I'm going to be doing this all keyboard style. And that is going to... It's gonna be bad. It's <laughs> just like Lara Croft games. I'm probably gonna crash and burn pretty quickly. We're gonna jump right into the thick of it. I'm gonna put two hours in tonight, starting as soon as I press the start button. So it should be okay. Uh, we're gonna start right now. The game. We're gonna play on easy because I suck at this game. Resident Evil Four. I suck horribly, especially when you get down, get to the Krauser part. We're not going to go with normal. No, we're not going to go with this. 1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Yeah, I don't think Umbrella has anything to do with this game. Generally, Six uh, years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornia, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. Sounds kind of muffled and weird. I'm gonna have to try to fix that. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. <laughs> That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. This game has a weird color filter. 
if there's a way I can change it. I, I saw something about... Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. I tried turning on the subtitles, but it gave me a Jeez. grayed out option. So Who I are these away. guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. <laughs> The controls are so different. <laughs> I have to use the inner key. Oh no. Ashley. Mm. Did that by that by a group which is Okay. Ashley Graham, age twenty, daughter of the United States president. She was kidnapped by an unidentified group while her, on her way home from her university. The kidnappers' motives are still unknown, although there's reliable information that the perpetrator is an insider. Only a handful of people know about this kidnapping. It's been kept under wraps mostly due to the fact that we can't determine who the traitor is. The guys in the intelligence say that they have reliable information that Ashley's been sighted somewhere in Europe, but until we find out who the insider is, I don't want to, I don't know what to believe. It could be a ploy. We have very few leads as to the whereabouts of Ashley, but members of the Secret Service and anyone else related to Ashley are being questioned by in an investigative team. Even active agents are being investigated for any information. It's a matter of time before the kidnapper is exposed. What the hell is this weapon? It's, the sound is all weird and wobbly. Oh, I can change the color or filter the, the weird shit. Hmm. But I don't want it. What about two? That's more of a green. Looks like diarrhea green. Freaking out. I guess four is normal. No, four is not normal. It's almost the same as. I'll be back, guys. My stomach is riling up and ready to, yeah, you know. Actually, I'll be back in a second.
there's a new group that has, uh, <coughs> that's involved with the, you know, different virus, different things. Sorry. Uh, excuse me, sir? Shit, I forgot to mess with the audio again. Feels like there's too much bass boost. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you. Something about you. An idiot? Stupid. Ah! Freeze! I said freeze! You don't speak English, Leon. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Just any maggots. These guys are almost see through. This game uses the same save system as three and you know all the Resident Evil games except the uh This is all awesome. so 
story and getting through it. Because I really don't want to spend, what, 16 to 19 hours on this game. At least the crows don't attack you in this game. Oh, poor coyote. This has positive repercussions in the game, thankfully. Superhuman? God, give me some freaking pistol rounds. I don't have a shotgun. So if I remember correctly, this game has a weird dynamic system where it kind of shies away from giving you ammo that you're using excessively. So I'll say like using the handgun all game, it's gonna basically force you, uh, force feed you, uh, like, some machine gun rounds and shit like that. It also has a weird dynamic, uh, system when it comes to your, uh, when it comes to, uh, difficulty. That's one reason why. I, whoa, what the fuck? That's the reason why I, uh, I pick easy because it doesn't matter. If I do really bad, it's gonna drive me down the easy anyway. I guess there's no sex discrimination here. Better find your fast. Jeez. Oh, I do have a shotgun. My bad. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Honigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it, thanks. Okay, I already know that. Kicks, blah, blah, changing inventory. I already know that. Wait, no, I don't. They're remaking this game, and that's gonna be good. I'm, I think they're gonna go darker with this game. Ah, for In other words, uh, stay away from the whole survival horror aspect and go into more of a. Or I mean, stay away from the whole aspect uh, of action. Maybe Mierda. add a little bit more freakiness to the game. Ah, for In Now this is a cop. Cabron. Cabron. Ah, for In Mierda! 
¡Qué madre! ¡Cabrón! ¡Maldita sea! ¡Cabrón! ¡Cabrón! ¡Mierda! ¡Ah, por él! ¡Mierda! ¡Eh! ¡Acá! ¡Cabrón! ¡Ah, qué madre! ¡Cabrón! ¡Maldita sea! ¡Ah, por él! some learning curves with these controls. all of a sudden?
Lord Sadler. Lord Sadler? Oh, yeah. I remember you now. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Hunnigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. Later. This game can be tense, but it's not scary. I remember the, that much. Some moments that you need to do some things quite, quite quickly. Can I break the lock off or something? Doors, uh, that's my fucking thing. That's my shtick. I can go that way, but I think I'm supposed to go that way. Let's see what happens if I go this way. I'm gonna save it first. Uh, I... Where is the save it? Let's, let's see what's up over there. You're probably gonna say you can't go that way yet. That's what they usually do for these other games. Or it's gonna be somewhere. Oh, that's the direction I actually came from. My bad, so just keep going this way. What's in the big tower?
Jesus, Leon. No jumping at that, right? Jumping that far down, at least. Just... One thing I hope they fix with this game is going to be the uh, the issue with like say space. There's this whole like thing I have with this like wasted space. It feels like there's a lot of wasted space. I see something up there, but I can't get to it. Up top. Right there. Really bad at this. Un forastero! Oh, I thought you were all praying. Guess not. shooting those medallions. You don't fuck with the medallions. I just want to get through the game.
probably supposed to shoot it off after I freaking close it, but whatever. God, this game, dude, I hate the freaking... Looks like I'll be playing this game for a couple of sessions. Um, hmm. Shit. X and C this time. Violent shit. This game is really fucking on my fingers. Like the tank controls from Resident Evil Zero and One, all over again. The trans the D, imbecile. Yeah, shut up. Wait, am I going to fuck your wrong way? Yeah. Darn it. The trans the D, imbecile. Diamond looking thing? Gemstone? I don't know if I could sell those. There is a merchant in this game. If you, for people who haven't played this.
Biggest pet peeve there, though. No, uh, there are no uh, shortcuts for weapons. What's that noise? It sounds like somebody's banging on the door. Don't you think? <clears throat> You're not like them? No. You? <clears throat> okay. I have only one very important question. Do you got a smoke? Got gum. Perfect. The big cheese. What? Really? Leon, you try to charge a superior enemy? Feeble humans, let us give you our power. <laughs> Soon, you will become unable to resist this intoxicating power. Wake up. Ay, ay, ay. Crawl out of one hole and into another. You want to tell me what's going on here? Americano, see? ¿sí? 
Now what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? <laughs> nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Wanna start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite the ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <laughs> policia. You put your life on the line. Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. Used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Hey boy, I'm not dying. Do something, cop! After you! Now! It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? I'm fine. There was a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No, but apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. I think it has that intense stare. That bitch stare, too. Like, I can see through your lies. I don't trust you, man. Like, that kind of stare. Creeps me out. Although a lot of people think she's hot, but... on sale, stranger. Oh, that's what the blue battalions are for. What are you selling? Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all, stranger? Is that all, 
old stranger? used to having to stop to aim and stuff it's so hard miss more dynamic like the remakes but kind of hard because it's using the old school formula where you kind of you have to aim and stop and aim and stuff like that which i mean is okay i'm thinking guys i'm a Something that 
might interest you. <laughs> I was thinking about quitting for a little bit. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Is that all? <laughs> Is that all? <old> str <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? 